Hey guys, I have Easter products. Easter is right around the corner, so I grabbed myself some of the new Lush Easter products. These are a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna get more because they are just amazing. So I'll just get right into it. I've got technically four bombs, but one of them is a bath melt bomb-ish. First up is Which Came First? This is a very large bomb compared to most of the others. It is sweet and citrus, and it was already broken when I got it. The whole idea is that you can break it into two, and suddenly there'll be a third part to it in the center. It's like a little nice surprise. However, because mine was already broken, I just opened it up, and it actually, the center one was fused into it, so I really only got two bombs out of it. For the video, I decided to use the whole entire bomb. This was a very fast fizzing bomb. It only took about two and a half minutes and it was done. It smelled a lot like grapefruit and lemonade. It's a very light scent, so it doesn't last very long. You can get out of the bath and like an hour later, you wouldn't even smell like it at all. Because the water wasn't so dark and vivid, I would say if you did break it up, then you would have diet bombs because they're a lot more pale and if the scent wasn't that much to begin with, then you breaking it down is gonna be even less. I've seen a lot of people complain about how expensive these Easter bombs are, but it kind of makes up for it because they are such big bombs and you can break them in half. And then my favorite one is just amazing. So yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but they're holiday items, so they're not around all the time. So I think it's a good time to splurge. Next is Humpty Dumpty Bath Bomb. This one also, you are supposed to, <clears throat> let me read, give it a good whack. And oh, we did, it just did not whack open. I tried to whack at it, didn't work. I tried dropping it from a distance, it didn't work. So I gave it to my husband because I was done already. He ended up sawing it and we thought we could give it a better hit if we cut it a little bit and that still didn't work out. Well, and then he ended up cutting himself. You see blood, sorry. Then we found out afterwards, after finally getting it open, that the center egg was actually fused with the rest of the bomb. Humpty Dumpty was not very fun for me, but hopefully everyone else gets a better better bomb out of it. it. Smells really good though. It's sweet and orange and bergamot. It has this like caramel citrus scent to it. With this bomb, it lasted only about two minutes. I do enjoy the colors though. The next bomb is Fluffy Egg. This is a little guy. Small, cute, pink, with two little dissolvable flowers on it. Smells a whole lot like Snow Fairy. So it's an extremely, extremely sweet candy scent. But it doesn't last long, so for those of you who are very anti-candy, this is, this is a good one, it's not too bad. It's a pretty average bomb. There's no wow factor to it. It leaves a slight pink ring, but you know, with every bomb, just clean your tub. I have a bunch of carrots. They smell like, like kids soap. I don't know, like it just reminds me of, I don't know, it's nostalgia, just the kid-like soap. Like Mr. Bubbles. These are pretty interesting. I think you could probably cut them down even further than what I did. I did one single carrot. I think you could do half of a carrot and get a good bubble bath out of it. So obviously, three carrots in a bundle. The green is like the straw stuff. It's not very dissolvable. Make sure you throw that away because you will have a very clogged tub. Each one has an abundance of bubbles and the bubbles last a good 45 minutes. Pretty citrusy, not very fragrant. It is harder to use than some of the other bubble bars. I'm sure they would be difficult to crumble by hand, but I love the way that the color turns, just even with that orange one. So I can only imagine how the pink and purple are gonna be. So excited, bunch of carrots. I am not a fan of the color purple, but I love this bubble bar. This is ultraviolet. This was just too pretty to pass up. Like I kind of had to get it. And it's jasmine and rosewood, so it has that really pretty earthy smell. It has some shimmer to it, and it also turns the water purple. The bubbles last the typical amount of time that a Lush bubble bar lasts, so a lot longer than Mr. Bubbles. It's not too hard to break down like some of the other bars, and I would definitely say you get a lot of uses out of this bar. At least six good ones. I really didn't like taking bubble baths before, but I am definitely a fan now. This is bouncy bunny. Everybody loves bouncy bunny, except for me. I just don't know about this shower jelly. I, I like the smell, but it is so ugly. I just can't. I just, I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. It looks like a souvenir leftover from a liposuction procedure. It's just not the most attractive shower jelly I've ever seen. Not the most attractive 
any kind of blush I've ever seen. They should have just made it one color, seriously. And not orange, not white, some other color. It smells amazing though. It has a heavy, sweet Brazilian orange scent and it's really rejuvenating. Like, I like it, it's just ugly. The last thing I wanna show you guys is the Golden Egg. This is the Bath Bomb Melt. This, I'm gonna order a ton of before they run out. If you wanna feel pampered, this is totally the bomb for you. There's so much glitter. Like, it, it's just unbelievable how much glitter this thing has. So you drop it in and it loses all that glitter in one pile at the bottom of your tub. It looks like a potato. Really, look at this thing. It is a potato. It's a luscious toffee chocolate scent. And then there's cocoa butter and it just, wow, just, I love it. This one, you want to have time for. You want to allow the oil to absorb and leave your skin feeling smooth and soft and just, it's great. Although it's moisturizing, it is a bit oily. It says bomb melt, but it's more of just a melt. It fizzes pathetically around, like really pathetically around, and then it just turns the water an odd yellow color. But I can't get over the scent and the glitter, and I don't even care that it looks like a potato. I will sit in there with it being a potato. Just taking it out of the bag smells just like a Cadbury egg. It's amazing. It does take about 15 minutes to dissolve. It leaves your tub so gross looking though. The oil chunks up when you're draining it and of course there's glitter everywhere. Don't sit still or you will get big oil lines from the water's surface unless you like feeling like a big greasy pile. I came into work the next day and I still had glitter all over me. So for those of you watching who work with me, that's all I have for you guys today. Next week I have some really earthy blush products, volcano mask, I'm even going over the signature scent of karma. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week.